Welcome to today's daily message. Today I'm continuing my uh, brief presentations on some of the points that I'll be uh, bringing up in uh, my series on the history of the mass when we're able to get back together. Today I wanna look at another source, another root uh, of the Eucharistic liturgy, and it comes to us in a document called the Didache. The Didache is a first century uh, Christian uh, document. Uh, it was also called the Teaching of the Twelve Apostles. It started out as a kind of Jewish catechetical book. For example, the first six chapters of the Didache only cite the Hebrew scriptures, nothing from what would become the New Testament. But it eventually evolved into a Christian instruction manual. Uh, it comes from a Jewish Christian community in Antioch, north of Israel, around the year 80. So once again, it is very deeply rooted in Christian history. So notice there, uh, the description of the Eucharistic celebration is in chapters 9 and 10. In chapter 9, we see the ritual, the rite of bread and cup. So first, there is the blessing and distribution of the cup. Then there is the uh, blessing of, of the bread. And then in chapter 10, uh, after everyone has eaten, there is still the meal. There is the Thanksgiving prayer, the Birkat Hamazon that we uh, talked about earlier uh, this week. Uh, notice the connections there with the uh, Eucharistic uh, prayer. Uh, uh, and, and, and finally, uh, notice this also, that the Didache Eucharist, if you pay close attention to it, contains no reference at all to the death of Jesus. And it does not associate the bread and wine with Jesus's body and blood. So what we're seeing here is a Christian celebration that still has a, a very Jewish uh, focus to it. So here again, we see uh, a source of the Christian Eucharist, something that comes to us from the first century, uh, just 50 years or so after the time of Christ. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. I am looking forward to the time when uh, we can be together and I can present uh, this material to you in person.